On June 29th, residents of the city of Thomas woke up and turned on their taps to find discolored, rotten-smelling water. When we visited three weeks later, we saw this water for ourselves and also talked with three Thomas residents about their concerns and struggles with the water. Well, we cannot use the water for cooking. We can't use the water for drinking. You're not supposed to brush your teeth in it. And in the beginning, we were told, you know, you can bathe in it. Residents of Thomas have had to resort to buying their own bottled water and driving to different cities to do their laundry. They're concerned about the financial cost when all is said and done. The cost from stained clothes, damaged household appliances, and potentially their health. On top of it all, they're still paying the water bill. We're paying our water bill. In addition, we're paying for the bottled water that we're buying at the store. Um, you do shower in it, but you wonder, uh, based on these reports that have been put online, what are you doing to yourself? One concerned resident looked into Thomas's water and posted what she found on social media. She found that under a dashboard of the EPA's website, Thomas has not been in compliance with the Safe Drinking Water Act for the last 12 quarters, with nine being significant violations. Throughout all of this, the local government has been giving out bottled water at City Hall, some say on an inconsistent basis. Residents have also been frustrated with the local government's lack of communication, saying that it's been sporadic and that there have been no online posts. One resident gave us the boil water notice that was posted at the post office on July 3rd, which cites high iron levels in the reservoir as the problem. Another resident, Joe Dumeyer, said he had a conversation with one of the city council members who pointed to the drought as the source of the problem and said that they were reaching out to the governor and a senator for help. With the area developing, the clock is ticking to solve the water problem and make the system more robust before more people move in. Thomas City Hall declined to comment when we called and visited. We did see on the wall, though, the city's agenda, which included discussions about raising the water rates. Reporting for 12 News, I'm Jefferson Pan.